Hello producers, it's Özgün here. In this tutorial, we are gonna take a look how to make Oli James kind of bouncing heart style sigh that big kick and bass lines. And if you're ready, let's get into that tutorial. So first of all, let's go some higher BPM, 140, 145, 150, whatever you want. Let's stick with 140 for now because the new age of big room is converting to rave room. And yes, Oli James is the leading the industry for rave room right now and I hope there will be big rave room community in the future and I'm and I already start to make rave room tracks and I hope to share them with you in next couple months okay if you're ready let's start this tutorial already so we are going to use some uh, side side trans uh, kicks let's go splice and search for them probably I already downloaded So I'm searching for some big transient and a really like big body and I'm gonna shape it like this. To make it more boomy. And let's find the key of this. I'm gonna search this for a new mixer channel and I'm gonna put G tune and let's try if it's detected or not. Okay, nothing. So let's go for filter pro Q3. You can use any spectrum analyzer for this. And I'm gonna just wait and see which frequency is the most fundamental. So this kick is a. So let's go search for some uh, reverse heart style kicks. I'm not sure if we can find them in the splice. Let's try first. I think this is really nice. Junkie Kit is always making the best heart style samples. So it's on the key of G. Let's put it to semitones up. And we have to like mm, fit it to the tempo as well. Now it's like not fitting at all. So I'm gonna try to do it like automatically, but I doubt it can work. I'm still not sure if I can fit it to the tempo, but it should be something like this. And when you do it, if it's bass, just get E3 mono. It's the best mod for not having phase in the bass. I'm gonna try this one and I think it can fit better. Oh, I think it's already fit. So let's send this to a new channel and call it sub and call it kick and I'm gonna put an EQ to the sub channel so our key was A I'm gonna cut it like here and to get rid of the first kick part let's add a kick start and go probably nice and tight And I think this kick can be a bit more crisp on the highs. It's like a bit 
uh, boxy to me. Maybe we can solve this with transient shapers. Let's try waves. This is the one that medics always use on the kick. So I'm going to do something like this. I'm not going to touch the lowest parts. I'm going to just tweak the highest parts to get some more click. And I know the problem is 30 millimeter. I always forgot to turn this off. Sorry. And let's boost the first note a bit to get the like wobbling sound. I don't know how to describe it. Probably the correct word was rumbling. Sounds good to me. So let's copy this. And to balance the kick and bass, I'm gonna use this trick that I learned from EDM Tips channel. I'm gonna add a woo meter. You can use any. And I'm gonna make my kick minus three. And I'm gonna put my sub to zero. And now I'm gonna turn them on at the same time. Like, save, never touch the correlation between them. We are halfway there, so we have a dedicated, we have a really nice sounding kick and bass. We can still do something like this. So I have this kick. It's another side trans kick. So I'm just gonna layer it. Like really silently. To give a bit more extra body and transient to the sound. And it's, if it sounds bad, it means they are phasing, just reverse the polarity and see which sounds good. Okay, it's good. And let's find some another hard style. I'm gonna try it. this one. It's from Frontliner Hard Style Pack. And let's send it and call hard style layer. I'm gonna put a kickstart, but it's not like enough because Oli James always shaping his kicks with some volume automation too. He says like he got more control when he doing the LFO shape like this. And we can add more details from now on. We can saturate it a bit. Even we can put annihilation distortion and we have to cut the loves.
and maybe we can give it some stir shaper to make it white and we can push it really back off the mix and see and hear only the highs. And let's try some simple melody top of it and see how it sounds with a lead. Change the lead. And yeah, it's basically it how to make all the James kind of reversed hard style side trance like rave room kicks. <laughs>
Yeah, guys, today we talk about how to make rave room kicks, and I hope you can apply this to your own productions too. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next video. Bye bye.